Hello, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Very excited to feature Matt today. He lives locally here in New Jersey, and I've been watching him build this van over the last 18 months, and it is a true masterpiece. Today, he's gonna give us a tour inside and out, so join us. Thank you, Patrick. Happy to have a van for you after all this time. But we finally did it. This is a Ram ProMaster 2500. Came all black, but we also did a Rhino liner on the lower edge here. Put some running boards on the outside, as well as upgraded wheels and tires with the black Rhinos, as well as a Falcon all terrain. We also put the upgraded suspension on here. We got Bilsteins as well as Sumo shocks in the back. Makes for a really comfortable ride. It's night and day once you get something like that done. And then if you wanna come to the front here, we have our brush guard as well as the uh, LED lights that you turn on right from the driver's seat. If you want to step inside, it's a general lay of the land. We have our wardrobe, bathroom, and shower right here. Get to that. We have a dual side kitchen galley running back to a nice dinette here in the back and as well as our bed. I mean, it's meant to fold out to a double, a queen size bed, but if you want to, you could sleep as a single. The floor, uh, we did a layer of mini cell on the bottom so it's pretty well insulated as well as the vinyl kind of flooring throughout double that down to here this is our board that you can rest your feet on and you turn your swivel around so that sits pretty comfortably and then when you open this up that's where we house our 12 volt heater this is from general components and it taps right into the gas tank pulls gas from the rear and comes right out in the front on these uh, walnut finishes all the finishes are actually walnut throughout. So, I mean like grates like this, as well as this table here. So this is really nice if you just kind of, I mean, kind of indoor outdoor thing. We have a, a moon shade, so you have a nice awning. You can hang out just like this, barbecue, drink, whatever you'd like to do. That shuts into our cabinetry here. This is all uh, three quarter and half inch pre-finished plywood on the inside and the outside is Formica laminate very well i mean it's strong stuff it's very easy to clean it looks great so i thought it was really a nice thing to put in the van the cab is a standard pro master 2500 it is low mileage only about 18,000 miles that i just hit so in doing that i want to protect the investment first thing so i have a 4k dash cam that we replaced the stock dash with and then we also have the viper ds4 which is good for a gps security remote start everything else I've just heard too many horror stories about vans being stolen or something else terrible. So we wanted to avoid that. And then coming from here, this is also same deal, walnut accent all throughout. It really closes everything out nicely. And then if you want to shut that cab area off, we have thermal blackout curtains with some magnets here on the side. So it just makes a really nice heat barrier when you get that heat going. This is a, an interesting one because this that tends to be a problem area in the ProMasters. What we did, I instead of removing this foam, we covered this with a piece of same deal thermal. It comes up here, and then this is quarter inch plywood that we ripped the face off and then kind of molded it around. It kind of has that like acoustic guitar kind of look. We molded it directly to this piece right here, put it on, and then uh, laminated that as well. And that goes right into our drop ceiling. So that helps secure everything there too. The whole van is insulated with a uh, thin slit, that's the sides and the rooftop. And for the ceiling here, this is the same pieces of custom walnut as the countertop and everything else. So we came and just put the, that on a quarter inch board and went directly into the chassis of the van. That way, you know, rather than having furring strips or any kind of blocking that really impedes like that extra inch on you that comes down on your head. I mean, I'm like six foot, six one, and really just wanna have all the space that you possibly could. So we did that and then just shaped the inside of it. So this is essentially just a giant drop ceiling. It's a double laminated uh, pieces of quarter inch uh, birch ply. Comes in, it's very strong. It really holds up and it fit really securely with everything else. And that runs right into our headboard right here. I keep pillows and whatever else you might have to use up there, but a nice transition right here. And then we have you know, a blackout screen for the windshield and the windows. You got the little cover your fan up course that blacks that out one out nicely from there we have our induction cooktop and, uh, walnut countertops right here we have the nova cool the 4500 owns up a good space freezer coming up top right here this is one that i was definitely really proud of just kind of 
covering your control station right here with this peel and stick tile, but then that closes right into this. So try to have a smooth transition going to the slider. This is always kind of another like problem area where it's very easy to skimp out, but I really want to complete the entire look of the van with this one. This is walnut trim, a sliding window right here, which is also really great because if you are cooking on the induction cooktop, you can go and kick on the max air, get some negative pressure, it blow, sucks everything right out. And the birch was a nice touch too. Just kind of trimmed the entire door out with this neoprene weather sealing. So you just get a really nice seal and really closes everything off in a nice way. And there you go back here. This is also the same deal. The whole way throughout is all laminate. Go onto our countertops. This is for the doors as well. We have the actuators, all that good stuff. And then also for cooking for the induction cooktop. This is me being a victim of late night Instagram ads and anything else because I am a sucker. It's called a prep deck. I saw it one night, I'm like, this is gonna be perfect for a van one day. So, got all your basic cooking utensils on the side, a cheese grater, strainer, whatever it may be. Do that, you got some Tupperware. Your cutting board can come off and dump right into the garbage. I tried to keep everything very consolidated by kind of like what their purpose is. So, this is all your electronics. You have your Victron battery monitor. You have your control panel for the inverter, as well as under cabinet lights and dimmable overhead. We have our GFCI outlets right here and here with USB and USB-C. And uh, in the same vein as trying to just keep things kind of like consolidated for what they're, what's going on there. This is our heat switch to turn on the gas heater as well as right here to turn on our hot water heater. Fire extinguisher right there. I also put the hot water heater just on a nice timer right here. Just in case you know, if you go and have it turning on all the time, you're gonna drain your battery by just forgetting about it, keeping a bunch of water hot that you really have no need for. So we need hot water, turn that on, and that'll take care of that. This is your standard like tortoise sink, and as well as everything mounted over top. I've got a clean water filter, soap dispenser. So you got more chemistry up here, all your basic like plating. Just I've had a few meals in here, it's nice. Also opens down low. So we came from our shop in Tom's River. We do a lot of custom cabinetry, mostly commercial, residential, and kitchens. And as we were building this, we were talking about this thing has more cabinets than some of the kitchens that we do, actually. We got two big chest drawers. Uh, we also have here, your little, oh, man down. We have the bar. Or if you're more wholesome, I guess you could put olive oil or vinegar or any other cooking supplies in there. We got one last drawer on top, and that comes down right on top of our convection oven and air fryer. Come back there, once you cook all your food, we have the dinette. So measured this one so it'll fit comfortably right in the center. You can sit around, it's super comfortable. We've had a few nights in here trying to get to know the van, and just it's very comfortable. We're one person here and there, as well on the swivel. It's just very conducive to company. And go in turn this around like this as well if you want to work have a bite whatever you have going on it's a very easy space and that comes down to our tambour door right here this is one of the more recent ones we had to fabricate this ourselves stained it to fit the walnut we best we could because this is actually maple and slides right up to our garage which i'm a big fan of because originally like with this because i know a lot of people do a drawer or like kind of like a regular cabinet door that opens up or one of those kind of saloon doors which is definitely the way I was thinking, but then it kind of impedes on your space for your legs if you have anything coming through. This is just so easy to open and close. And it's, I think it looks great, so. This is another one of just kind of having things distributed in a way that kind of makes sense or keeping all the things in one place. Another uh, thought that I did the van is gonna have all your water components on this side and all your electric right here. I didn't wanna, I felt like it was a lot easier to run um, wire through the whole van rather than PEX. So we're coming through here, the water. Also, these are totally removable. Uh, we have a 30 gallon water tank, as well as our Seaflow water pump in the wheel well, coming down to the accumulator. That runs all the way through here. It runs right to your sink, to your hot water heater, and inevitably to your shower. Compared to this side, We do have a space where we put the uh, tabletop right behind the driver's seat like usual, but we'll leave that up there for now.
you bring that down, it's all kind of mechanically in there, it on its own weight holds it. So that opens it up to our whole battery system right down here. We have 420 amps of Lion Energy batteries, lithium ion. Uh, we have a 30 amp and, uh, solar controller with a 400 watt Solaria panel up top. I got a 60 amp DC to DC converter, which was an interesting one actually, because I know a lot of people put their electrical system on the driver's side, just because it's easiest to run to the battery right here. I had to run the battery along the back. I have the DC to DC charger actually, the 60 amp charger, all the way back behind this cabinet and then ran the wires and split loom tie them up and they actually come up right here into my negative bus bar. I have individual circuit breakers for all the electric too, so you can turn any individual battery off. I know that's overkill, but it's just the way we kind of went for everything. Another thing too is that I have a little uh, pad underneath the batteries that will switch on at 50 degrees and the same with the water tank. So if it gets too cold in there, it'll stay nice and warm. You're not gonna have trouble, any trouble charging. And then as well, we have vents going in and out of everything too. So you really keep the air circulating here. So from there, that brings us to our bed. And you could, I guess, if you're here as one person, you could sleep on just this, but you will be pretty high. This is actually just a friction lock. You pull this out. And this is all solid maple right here. We machined this in our shop to kind of be a tongue and groove. It opened up. And originally when we did it, we, you know, it was trial and error the entire way. The first time we put this system together, it didn't move at all with all that friction. So we had to go and open up the grooves right here, um, a little bit more so it slides through. And I think I sanded it to like 320. I really sanded it to glass and put a good finish on there as well as butcher's wax. So now it really moves very easily. And when it gets to the end here, another part, if you get to look at these brackets, just as the last thing I want to do is have that uh, finish edge just sliding all along our walnut countertop and scratching it. So we machined these little guys, just bent those and uh, had its little one inch nylon roller there. So it just stays that, you know, eighth of an inch off the countertop the entire way. And we have blocking underneath. So it stops dead before it hits the countertop. So you're not really banging up against anything. It's a very smooth pull the whole way out. When you're ready for bed, you go ahead and pull out that bottom slat. And the bed is a custom trifold mattress. It's, it has its first seam in the dead center. And then on the other side, the furthest end from the back, it has another one. So it's like quarter, quarter, half. And you'll pull that over. It lays flat. It presses right up to the end of it. It's a full size queen. It's about 60 inches by 75, give or take. So more or less a short queen. It goes right over the dinette. So you don't have to bother cleaning most of the stuff up before you're ready. All right, so once the bed's open, this is kind of its own individual space as well. But if you got a, I do have a stool in the back, but I can just jump right up there. It's comfortable enough. As I said, this is 75 and a half inches, so you could really sleep very comfortably east to west. We bumped out all the way to the walls of the van. Going back here, this is another showing of me being an, a victim of Instagram ads. These work out really well. USB chargeable, great little reading lights. Goes over here come to the back this is our green wall where we also put some 12 volt USB and USB-C chargers so you have your phone while you're laying in bed um, the windows these are from motion windows I'm really happy with them so you can slide open your screen right here in the same vein grab the remote and turn on the uh, max air fan for some negative pressure and you'll get air that blows right across you and keeps you nice and cool but if you don't want that or want some privacy you can always close this thermal curtain right here and you're ready for sleep. What do I know people are gonna be using it for storage, but also open this up. I've been, when I've been sleeping in, I put the laptop right up there and everything else. It's like a nice little entertainment center, very comfortable. Another part of this van that was really important to us was just kind of being very finished. If you're looking around, I know a lot of people, and I see why they do, but like the corners and the back doors can be really pain areas where you don't really gain a lot by finishing them. It's just pretty much aesthetic. But I was really happy with how those came out. Then also, this header came through and this ties together the entire ceiling because these are all mechanical up and in the side. If you wanted to, you could start taking everything apart with a few screws if you had to get into everything. But overall, everything supporting one piece or another. From there, it brings you to, like I said before, the shower and wardrobe. It's a big old three quarter, double side laminated doors. You got these here if you ever just wanted to hang some clothes or anything like that. Be in the wardrobe. This opens here. You have your little acrylic mirror, your light, and the sea head toilet, which I found to be 
the most efficient composting toilet. I haven't had the pleasure of using it yet, but I'm great reviews. Ready for a shower. I have handles I put on the side here. You can take it right out. Get yourself in the shower. You got some good spacious ones. And this is all Duma wall, Duma wall tile. It's PVC and just your regular kind of household caulk right there. So it's very water protected. This is a fiberglass floor that we did. And this comes down to our 15 gallon gray tank on the bottom that also the sink does as well. I have a release valve on the side, so that's easy to drain. Come around back here, show you my garage area and everything else. Uh, I've got the ladder right in this uh, the driver's side door right here. Opens up. The garage worked out really well too. I do have the hose in the back right here for hosing anything off. This opens up into your fresh water tank. So I have a 30 gallon tank right here. This is also has the valve for a compressor. So it's very easy to blow everything out if you want to winterize it, if you're ever in a cold environment. This pops right off. We do have that uh, three quarter inch lip right here. So you could store every one up top, but if you ever want to get it off, it comes right off. We got a half inch air hose as well as the bilge pump right there. That opens up to our fresh water fill. I know a lot of people put it on the outside, but just something about that weirded me out. I don't want to have it on the inside. It's a very easy fill right there. I uh, come to the other end. We housed our inverter right here, as well as our AC DC fuse panel. Everything you need is well. we have another GFCI outlet with USB, as well as our shore power hookup. And then I have the 120 amp adapter. You could plug right in there. You get a really good look at the bed system right here with the slats. Everything works very smoothly. It's just, yeah, it also lets your mattress breathe when the whole thing's open. So you're not gonna deal with any mold or mildew. Uh, we have our light switch for the garage right here as well. Always turn things on and off and then a good little storage spot. Uh, and also just on another note about finishing everything, we've got the laminated panels in the back that I showed you as well as our windows right here. This was one, it was a pretty interesting way to finish it all off. We built these three quarter inch templates of it. I made about eight of them actually, that came around and the whole way out to the van, scribed to the side and then put this paddle on top, laminated the inside. So it's just a really nice looking extension jam the entire way through. Just clean and easy. You could put things on there if you really wanted to while you're in bed and it really just gave it a nice finished look. You close that, go up in your ladder here. So there's a good look at our Solaria solar panel, the Max Air fan, as well as some nice ski and snowboard racks. You could also put it something on top or a snowboard if you want. They lock, it's just a good way to, you know, keep the moisture or anything else out from the inside of the van, throw it up there and you can, you know, know it's safe and forget about it. Uh, if you get over to the driver's side here, you get a good look at the gray water tank underneath as well as our release. Manually open and close that whenever we're a good drainage spot. I mean, it's just shower and sink water, so it's relatively safe, as soon as you, assuming you're using uh, safe products. Then a continuation of the running board, just a nice step to get up here into the driver's seat. Matt, thank you very much for taking the time today to give us a tour of your awesome creation. I've been following along for the last 18 months. You live right up the street. I've seen all the different stages of progress that you have. And now it's done, and I consider this to be a masterpiece. Thank you. The level of carpentry on the inside, the attention to detail, the tolerances between everything is quite impressive. As well as a lot of the materials you used and the systems, they're all top notch. Now that it's all done, what's next? Well, thank you, Patrick. And I appreciate you badgering me for the past year, asking when it's gonna be done, because that was a good motivator. Anyone who's built these things knows they take a lot of time. And now that it's done too, as much as there was moments when I hated this thing and I'm so happy and so proud of it now that it's done. You can't help but think I would love to build another one and there's certain things I'd like to do differently. You learn so much along the way. Completely reinvents the way you look at space, honestly. I mean, any small space now gets, gets you excited. We did buy this at the beginning as more of a COVID project. It's just something like my father and I talking that we would love to do. Uh, the idea was to build it out and then sell it with a few adventures in between, maybe a few ski trips or something like that. But now that we're there and we've had those trips, we are ready to sell it and then kind of go to the next chapter. We talked about it as being like, you know, if someone came and said we would like to have our own, we'd like to build another, how we react. And 
we're kind of getting to that point. So we will be considering any kind of offers to build another one. And then this one will be for sale uh, soon. I appreciate the time you spent with me today to give me a tour. And you know how much I was geeking out about all the cool stuff on the inside. I'm going to make sure I leave a link in the description. That way the viewers could check out your ad and uh, hopefully buy it from you. Well, this is Patrick from New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us today.